So when it comes to thinking about stromatolites in the ancient earth, we have a number of puzzles that we need to try to tackle um, in, in various ways that turn out to be kind of indirect and complicated and the stuff of research. So one of those questions is, just is, is were these guys actually producing oxygen in the past? So we can find fossilized stromatolites from billions of years ago, and we tend to assume that they were doing the same thing that modern stromatolites are doing, which is photosynthesis that produces oxygen. But it's possible that the microbes that made those ancient stromatolites were doing something different. Maybe they weren't making oxygen. And so just because we see these stromatolite structures and forms in the ancient rock record, that doesn't prove that they were producing oxygen. So that's one puzzle that we want to try to get at. Another puzzle that we want to try to get at is to understand, even if they were producing oxygen, how far did their influence extend? So you can imagine if one of these lumpy things is spewing out oxygen molecules, the oxygen first gets dissolved in the water, and that oxygen, oxygen is a very reactive molecule. The reason that we, that we breathe it in is because it's very reactive with the sugars and other organic carbon compounds that we eat, um, and that reaction generates energy. Oxygen is a very reactive molecule. So it'll, oxygen will react with all sorts of things in the environment. So if you imagine a world that doesn't have a lot of oxygen in it, doesn't have a lot of oxygen in the atmosphere, the ancient Earth, the first half of Earth history, there'd be a lot of material around on a beach and, and various, you know, in rocks that has not yet been exposed to oxygen, has not yet had a chance to react with that oxygen. And so as these ancient stromatolites, not, these aren't ancient, but as ancient stromatolites on an ancient beach kind of like this um, did their thing and produced oxygen, if that's what they did, that oxygen would have had lots of material to react with and get consumed. And you need to consume all that other material before oxygen's influence can spread, before you can oxygenate large parts of the oceans, and before you can build up enough oxygen in the oceans that it starts to, to escape out in the atmosphere and build up in the atmosphere. And again, when the oxygen comes out, imagine, imagine an ancient ocean like this, an ancient shore, where you had lots of stromatolite activity behind me and oxygen being generated and the water here maybe became oxygenated and some of that oxygen started wafting out into the air into the local beach environment. Well, that, those oxygen molecules in the air would have found lots of material to react with in the local rocks and soil, consume, which would have consumed the oxygen. So to, for the oxygen then to build up in the atmosphere, you need to have consumed all that nearby material and, and material even further away that reacts with oxygen.